So I'm going to demonstrate a super easy way to do a student's t-test. This online tool makes it so easy that even students who hate math and are afraid of numbers and everything like that will still be willing to do the t-test. So the website I use is studentsttest.com and literally all you have to do is paste your data from group 1 into this box and paste your data from group 2 into this box and then press the calculate button. So I'm going to go to our data set and I haven't cleaned the data at all. All I've done is um, sorted by gender. So I'm going to choose the muscle fatigue test. And I'm just going to go down and select all the data points for females. And copy that. And then go back to my student's t-test and paste it into the, the first box. And then I'm going to go back and do the same thing for all the male data points. Paste it into this box. One thing to be aware of is that if you have any data points that have anything other than numeric characters, such as this one right here, somebody entered seconds, those data points are just going to be deleted. So make sure that the data is cleaned of all those things at a time. So after I press the calculate button, you'll notice that this 58 seconds right here, that data point is just going to be gone. So I'm going to go ahead and press the calculate button and ta-da, there you go, all done. Um, so it calculates the mean standard deviation for each uh, group and it also calculates the p-value. Uh, another thing to be aware of is that many students don't understand what this e to the negative 9 means, so they'll just look at this p-value and say, ah, oh, 2.7, that's not significant. So you need to explain to them that e to the negative 9 really means 10 to the negative 9th. So this data point is actually, or these, these uh, data sets are actually significantly different. And that's it.